Hi there, welcome to my new build. It's a 40 inch flying wing. It's made from balsa and it's going to be powered by a 20, 25 sized engine, probably an Irvine, but I, I haven't made the final decision yet. And this is King Combat. Now, for those of you who follow my channel, seen my videos before, that might sound familiar because I did a whole build series on this particular wing. Now, that was probably two years ago. I don't have the wing anymore, but you know what? I loved flying it. It was a really nice wing, so I want to build myself another one. Now, I'm going to do a very short series just looking at the construction that I'm doing different from the last time. So some of the modifications I'm doing and, and, and improvements, hopefully improvements anyway. Now the construction will be filmed and it's or mostly filmed and it's going to be high speed. So you can see me building the wing and I'll stop it and just explain the things that I'm doing differently. But here's a quick clip of my last wing flying and then we'll have a look and see where we've got to so far. Well, as you can see, it flew lovely and I really enjoyed flying that wing. I had the odd bump with it, but it flew lovely. If you're interested in seeing that build series, have a look in the description below this video and there'll be a link to all the videos showing the build and the subsequent flight and also some modifications I made afterwards, which didn't go too well at first. But anyway, that's uh, another story. Now, where have we got to with this build? Well, I've still got the uh, rib templates, which I made. These are in plywood. Uh, I think that's uh, three mil plywood. And that was from when I made the very first wing. And I've made myself all of the ribs that I need, identical ribs, and um, just using the sandwich technique. Very easy. Again, if you're interested in seeing a video on how I do that, have a look in the description below and there'll be a link to a, a, a video where I just show how I make uh, identical ribs. So I've got the ribs. Now, the only other thing that I've made so far is the uh, fins, the two fins, which go on the wing, and the wing tips. Just very, very simple. Now, I've only got, normally I would have a couple of copies of plans. I've only got this one copy that I've got on the wall. And I wanted to know the shape for these fins. So what I did is I just got a little bit of tracing paper. I put it over the fin, drew around it, neatened it up a little bit. And then I put that on top of a plank of balsa and just put pinholes very lightly around the perimeter, the, the, the border of, of my fin, and then I could see that easily on balsa and cut it out. So that's how I've done that, that's how I've transferred the image off the plan just onto these. So I've got my ribs, I've got a few items here, I've also got my spars lined up and I've just trimmed the trailing edge. These are just, I think they're one and a half inch uh, by 36. So I've got those. Now I'm going to lay this out on this uh, balsa building board which I can pin into nice and easy. I'll just move the camera around and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've got my balsa building board which is lovely and flat. I've checked that with a, a long straight edge. I've got my piece of balsa here, 116 balsa for the trailing edge of the wing and this is the lower main spar. Now I've lifted up this lower main spar by half an inch or I'm going to lift it up by half an inch. I still haven't pinned these uh, pieces of balsa here, just scrap balsa which make up half an inch. And the way I got that lift, the, uh, the measurement for that lift was I simply took a rib, 
I put it onto the spar and then just lifted that up until it sat nice and flat on this trailing edge. So that's how I'm going to build it. I'm going to pin down this trailing edge, I'm going to pin the spar in place and glue all the ribs on. So I'll get on and do that now. I've also got some plastic acetate on here just to cover the building board so that I can get the wing off, I don't end up sticking it onto the, uh, onto the board itself. Well you can see I've spent quite a bit of time making sure that this is all set out correctly, pinned in place and uh, it's all square. And as always my building blocks are invaluable and they really hold the ribs square upright, especially if I put a block either side of the, uh, of the ribs. And there we go, just hold it square and then I can check with my square to make sure that it's square onto this back um, trailing edge sheet. Now, I've also got down at the far end and eyed through all of these slots for this top spar and made sure that that is a lovely straight line. Slight bend in my top spar but the, uh, the actual ribs are lined up lovely. Also I got down and eyed up all the bird mouths and that lined up beautifully as well. So that kind of tells me I've got a nice straight square wing. I'm, I'm happy with that. The one modification I've made to the plans and the last one I built is these two ribs here. Uh, this is going to be where the um, radio unit is and things like that, the battery servos. And with the on the original, these ribs are separated by about half inch, 15 mil, something like that. So this thinner rib here, this rib is these ribs are uh, 116, so that's what one and a half mil. These are um, what are they? They're um, 332nd so that's uh, that's two and a half mil so so they're thicker on the outside and the inside of the radio bay on the on the plans these two ribs this 116 this 332nd are separated but I've put them close together like this and the reason being is that when you come to put in the um, the fins you're supposed to cut a slot in a little bit of sheeting here and 
just slot those in. If they're half inch apart, then the only thing you've got holding it really is uh, that sheeting. But now these slot snugly down through the sheeting and between those two ribs. So that'll hold those quite nice. Having said that, I didn't really have problems before with the ribs coming loose, but I did put balsa in to strengthen it and fill the gap, which added to the weight, which I didn't like doing. So I think putting the ribs close together so they provide that support for these two fins is a better way of going. Now, I'm gonna make myself a drink and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sit here and stare at this for a while longer and make sure I've got it absolutely right before I run down and, and, and see a it all. Actually, I'm gonna put this top spar in as well because that obviously needs to be in. So we'll get that put in there. And then, uh, and then once I've pondered that this is absolutely correct, I will, uh, I will see a it all. Well, I've got the main wing skeleton finished now and I always really like it when I get to this stage because you can really see it starting to, to take shape and you see the last thing I did was put the engine mountings in. Now the engine mounting beams, these beach beams, 3 8 by half inch, have a kind of a false rib or a, the front of a rib put on either side. Now can see if I just bring that forward. The main point of that is not only for a little bit of strength but I think it's primarily to provide a edge, a, a ridge there for the sheeting to sit onto when I do do the sheeting. Now I've, I've put the rib on that side or the front on that side but I haven't done this one and the reason being is I'm going to or I have made a rib out of plywood this is three and a half mil plywood uh, it's, it's a lovely beach ply and I've done a little bit of a keel on the bottom I've cut out the middle just to lighten it down a bit so it doesn't really add a great deal of weight and if we put that in to position like that it's still providing the support there for the sheeting but it's doing a little bit of a a keel underneath and the whole point of that is I'm hoping once I once this is finished I'm going to be epoxying a little bit of wet and dry really coarse grit so I can get a good grip on that and that is going to be my method of launching 
So it's hopefully overhead hand launch. There's, that's, I've made that big enough that you can get a really good grip on it. So I'm going to get that epoxied on now. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to get that epoxied on now and then the next job is going to be getting on with all of the sheeting. Now I'm probably going to have to do that in the next uh, video. I'm just concerned about how long these go on. I don't want to make them, them, them too long. So I'm, going to, so I'm going to get this epoxied up now and the next video we'll get that sheeting done and we'll really pull this wing together and get the whole structure finished.